The secretary to the government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, on Tuesday criticized those calling for the sack of service chiefs. Mustafa declared that the administration of President Muhammad Buhari will not sack the service chiefs now. He said that there are processes that must be followed to affect their sack. According to him, we are in a very difficult time now. We need everybody to be on board. We need synergy within the intelligent community, within the military formation that will help fight this war. With me in the studio to have a conversation on those two gentlemen, we have Mr. Liborio Soshoma, legal practitioner. Thank you very much for coming on the news. A pleasure. We also have Dr. Emirie Agumwa, political analyst. Pleasure to have your company on the Thank news as well. Much. So let's start with you, Barrister. Falana says a suit is in the pipeline uh, to push for the removal of the service chief um, uh, because he believes the president is breaking the law. Your take? Yeah, um, what Falana basically had done is uh, what we call a pre-action notice. Uh, it's um, a rule of um, um, uh, legal practice that before you you know, drag anybody to court, whether be it government or private, you must issue them a pre-action notice to prepare them for, you know, on their mind that, you know, you're going to court against them. And so that's basically what he has done. And uh, I think we're missing the point here. Uh, the government is basically missing the point. It's not about sacking. It's about the fact that their tenure had expired um, and that they are way outside the statutorily allowed time for, for you know, an officer to be in the military. Um, it's like saying that now that, okay, because um, the Chief Justice of the Federation, um, the law allows for retirement at the age of 70, and then you say, okay, yes, because the man, you know, there's a constitutional crisis brewing, and so you should retain him, even though he's way past his retirement age. The service chiefs are way past their retirement age. They are, the junior officers under them have retired. And, and so it is mandatory by virtue of the Constitution, by virtue of the Armed Forces Act, that once you clock 35 years in service, that you, you are bound to retire, no matter how good you are, except the law is amended. And, and so that's basically what Fermi Falana is insisting that the court should help activate and insist that the president obeys them. Um, Dr. Emery. What do you make of the president's silence in spite of the outcry that has necessitated uh, this new advocate to press to go to court? Um, clearly, I think um, it's something that the, everybody in the country expected. When you get to 35 years of service, you, you, you advise yourself to step down. Okay, you advise yourself, and people advise you too. And not only advice, or the advice is a law, it's mandatory. And uh, I think the president should be able to look at it and also know that this is not time to set the wrong precedence on how to um, run a government. So I think the bottom line should be that there should be immediate, uh, they should leave the office as immediate as possible. Um, Barista, what, what do you make of uh, his position that the president must seek the approval of the Senate to, you know, um, extend the tenure of the service chiefs since there is a provision that they must seek the approval for the approval of the appointment? Yeah, because um, Section 218 of the Constitution says that it um, empowers the National Assembly to make laws, you know, for uh, the operational uh, guidelines for the armed forces. And, and so, I, I think um, even that um, the National Assembly cannot, by fiat or resolution, extend the tenure of the service chiefs if they are due to retire from the military. Uh, this, this is not a question of the service chiefs, you know, um, their tenure as service chiefs expiring. This is a tenure, this is a question of the, the, the age of retirement in the military. And, and so if your age of retirement, if you've gotten past, way past your age of retirement in the military, even the National Assembly cannot extend the age for you, except there is an amendment to the law. That's the position. And, and so we should not um, um, romanticize the president too much. Uh, if this had happened under the Good luck, Jonathan's administration. I know by now a lot of people would have been on the street, would have brought down, you know, the the wars of the, of, of of the country. But you know, we have so so tolerated uh, this administration, and they have done far worse 
than the previous one did. And I so I, I do not think it's about the National Assembly, you know, rubber stamping or extending, you know, the tenure of service chiefs. It's about the fact that the 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 age for retire they are due to retire. So and is so the suit must, necessary then? If you were saying that the, but you why know, the suit, suit had become necessary now is that because this the there have been consistent call on the president that this the service chiefs are due for retirement and they should so retire. And then refusing to, to heed that call or do the needful. You know, there's need now to ask an arm of government to insist that once you're due for retirement, nobody has the power, except the law is amended, to extend your tenure, or no matter how the, 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 the uh, uh, good works you're doing. That's basically. And, and because here, we are more, we observe our law more in breach. And so that's why somebody will need to go to court to compel you to do something that is as clear as ABC in the law books. Is there any other way, in your opinion, Dr. Emery, to compel the president to do the needful? And in the event that this suit does see the light of day, do you expect any sort of compliance from the government? I actually government? expect that the, the suits will see the light of day. But if the president really has um, inter um, things that this intelligence that these service chiefs have as regards this the security of the, com the country, they, should be, they, they can be returned as consultants. But they have to, they have to leave the seat of service chief. They shouldn't be presiding over a stipulated amount, uh, um, 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 presiding over the offices of the, the, the uh, various offices if they can be retained as consultants to share intelligence with. That is behind the scene. But as service chiefs, I think they should leave. All right. Thank you very much for your thoughts so far on the news. We will come back to you um, in a bit.